Hey, greetings to you. This is your brother Bedford. I know I'm not out in those streets. It's uh, it's raining out there. <laughs> so your brother's in here. Um, just finished up a couple of interviews on podcasts um, talking about black people and entrepreneurship and business. And one of the topics that came up was the McKinsey Report that is uh, reporting uh, 4.5 million to 5 million jobs will be lost for black people over the next 5 to 10 years. Um, it has some very ooh, glaring points in this report. Uh, one, obviously the wealth gap will be affected and even the educational opportunities as automation and AI begins to uh, what they call disrupt or replace or kill these jobs, which are lower wage jobs. But black men will be affected at, at a higher rate than everyone else, including black women, which again, does not bode well for us. And a lot of our leaders, um, a few of our leaders and politicians, they're really, you know, they're out sounding the alarm on the report. But the solution is always the same, you know. So we need to go back to school and get training for jobs that this report highlights that will create lower paying jobs than the jobs they're in. So that, that wage gap and the wealth gap will continue to increase even if we go back to school to get these, this, this training that a lot of them are saying to go get. But more importantly, you're talking about going back to school to take on debt, to feed the system continuously, to keep us in the same position to get skills on jobs that, again, may become obsolete in a couple of years. And then we're back in this cycle again of saying we need to go back and get retrained uh, to get education on jobs that will be replaced. My, I'm of the opinion that, we, yes, we need to get retrained, but we need to get training on the skill sets that will allow us to create jobs for ourselves instead of learning how to go and ask for a job. We need to be able to create jobs to create the income for ourselves. And then if we're blessed, then we can afford uh, other opportunities for others to begin to create income for themselves. And so we have to get the training. We have to get education, but not to go seek a job. We have to learn how to take our knowledge, our experience, our skills and our labor and put it into the marketplace and create a job for ourselves that will give us the income to where we can take care of ourselves and our families. And again, if God blesses us, then we can begin to extend that to others in joint ventures, strategic alliances and partnerships to help others create income. But we have to get out of the cycle of going to school, get training to get jobs that become obsolete in a few years. We have to begin to think in the terms of competition to where we get the knowledge and the training so that we become competitors in the marketplace and we build sufficient income to take care of ourselves. So that's that's my thought on this report. Don't panic. Just get trained. Create a job for yourself. The opportunities are endless now to begin to create income opportunities for ourselves. We just have to seize the moment and take serious advantage of the technology and tools that are at our fingertips that will allow us to do that. So this is your brother Bedford. I'm the founder of the Masters of Business. You can join me and others who are trying to learn how to create jobs for ourselves over at themobmastermind.com. Hope to see you in there. Again, don't panic. Just begin to start working and create a job for yourself.